Hello guys, welcome. So you guys know that a while ago Anita Okoye filed for divorce from her husband Paul Okoye and the matter has been in court and um, even though they've been living apart for a while, now the divorce is finally <laughs> finalized. Yes, but why we're talking about this right now is because of what happened um, during the proceedings, like what the judge ruled after the divorce. So now a lot of people are saying that, ah, so after all the plenty years of marriage, Anita Okoye left um, Paul empty-handed. And that's because um, when Anita filed for divorce, one of the things she claimed was that she gave her husband 10 million naira, which he added to the cost of purchasing a land that he built a mall in. And the plan was that if, she, if he built, that, built the mall, she's going to have like a shop in the mall because she had like a children clothing line then tanko but according to her when the whole mall stuff was built like they he did not keep up to his part of the agreement so now the according to what happened she did not have any evidence to show that um that money was given to him i don't know if the money was given to him in cash or there was no record because i feel like if it was a bank transaction they would be able to get uh you know bank um statement so the court did not you know she didn't win that part of the case now also in the things that she filed for when she filed for divorce rather she said she wanted twenty thousand dollars monthly for settlement and also i think she wanted some houses now she know the kind of property where they get which she would demand you know this and everybody knows she knows the guy's pocket and people are saying that um since the court did not grant her um the 10 million naira this thing that she borrowed her husband or she gave her husband you know for the purchase of the land that she has lost um and also the court granted them joint custody of the children now if you know the children are in america with their mother and the, the father or their father is in nigeria so they have joint custody that means the children can see their father whenever they want and see their mother or be with their mother whenever they want people are saying oh she has lost she didn't get the money she didn't get anything and they don't realize that the only thing that the court did not give her here was that 10 million we don't know all the details because i think they're trying to keep this thing private and it shows that they are in good terms they are not quarreling you understand yes people are saying oh so if this is the only thing he did why did you divorce him for only cheating you say he cheated that he followed house gear is that the only thing that you could have stayed with him or if he was raising your children well and people forget that everything's not about money mental health is a big deal you tell her to stay there she been a still on a go still quarrel that woman away pursuing husband go lose her life for road why didn't you leave him why didn't you leave him now this one wants her to leave or she's leaving or she has even left people are saying the um cheating is too small a, a thing to leave a man people will leave for whatever reasons they want to leave the people that are here that if they just touch them one hand on the face they will leave other people say that you can poke the person t the person tire People have different things that make them leave relationships. There's something we call deal breakers. And it's different for everybody. You understand? So because you you feel like you are you can manage a cheating um, spouse does not mean that you should force another woman to manage a cheating spouse. The woman might not want to manage it. And she said that there were other things in the marriage. I think, like I said, that they are in good terms, which is why she, they are not trying to wash their dirty linen in public so much. You understand? And also... People are saying that um, uh, when you're in a marriage, secure yourself and everything, which makes sense. But I think that um, with this whole joint custody thing, there might not be a fixed amount that he would give her every month. But this is where marrying a kind person comes in. I'm sure that because he's not with his children in Nigeria, he will not say, uh, Madam, whenever you are holding the children, no, feeding is on you. Um, everything is on you. When they come to me, I'll feed them. Some people do it when you're holding the children, take care of them 100%. When I'm holding them, I'll take care of them 100%. But I think that the children are with their mother more. So he's definitely, definitely have, going to have to contribute. We don't know the amount is going to contribute. I don't think that amount is fixed because according to the judgment, she wasn't giving any money, um, you know, in form of settlement, no early money for her, nothing. She, does, she was not giving any fixed money. She actually now opted to settle. She wants to settle with her husband, with her ex-husband. You know, two of them will do whatever they want to do. Be, um, away from the court but right now divorce is fine now everybody can go their separate ways if he's a great father to his children which i think he is you know he because you can see him is present he tries to go to america to visit them his brother goes to visit them when he can you know and i like i said i don't think that he and anita are quarreling because on, on their on her birthday he posted her on, he, on his own birthday she posted him so i don't think they are i feel like they just got to a point where oh god you know say so you know do me well you make i shift make you shift everybody move on with your lives divorce doesn't mean that you have to be quarreling 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 which is okay but people that are saying she lost i don't really think she lost totally if she has her sanity you understand she has her children three whole children so you know that i think that also there are some people that 
shout out to him too after he lose guard the way make the wife come out he did not drag children with her because some men will still be dragging children you know don't take them to america i think because the children are in america with her that means he actually approved of them going which is good on his own part so i think they are in a good place in a place of peace at least let's just face our children let's raise them the best way we can you know stay with them i will do the best i can which is why anita also agreed um to settle because she's not dragging it she's not dragging it anymore um you guys like i said i don't think that she lost i don't think she lost yes even though it, what it goes to show is that um no matter the amount of money your husband has you understand you to try to improve yourself which i think she has been doing throughout her, they are married she tried to um, run a lot of businesses she tried to go to school and all those kind of things so it's fine people who were saying oh you are looking for man's money you want to divorce him and carry money you were in the house you're not doing anything he was hustling and like, it's always so funny because when women are taking care of the home because it's not monetized people tend to make you feel like oh you're just at home taking care of the children you did not do anything he was the one going out to work for money and i think that that's a wrong way to look at it but i'm just happy for them that i like the peace i'm feeling from this divorce no yaga yaga no back and forth online no insult here and there they're just doing the best they can do to protect their peace and their children's name and everything online i love it for them um i just really wish them all the best in their various um you know um, relationships going forward you guys let me know your thoughts are in the comment section is the roster and i thank you so much for watching if you like this video, you know what to do. Like it, like it, like it. Turn on the bell, subscribe. Please follow us on our Facebook page. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.